Hello, my name's Lee Jones and today I'm going to show you how to clean the leather seats in a Rolls Royce Silver Spirit 2. So in order to do the cleaning we're going to be using some products today by Furniture Clinic. The first one is Ultra Clean Leather Cleaner which is the stuff that you put on first in order to clean the seats. Afterwards, once we have uh, cleaned the leather fully we will condition the leather using Furniture Clinic's Protection Clean. During the cleaning we'll use a sponge which will be wet slightly and uh, I use one of these from a supermarket which is a, a standard type dishcloth but it's microfiber and it helps to pick up the dirt from uh, the leather when you're cleaning. Okay so finally the last thing we're going to be using today is a good old standard cheapy Tesco's toothbrush. The reason why I'm using this is because if it's good enough for your teeth and gums it'll be soft enough on your leather of your Rolls Royce and also uh, you can spend £20 on a um, cleaning brush which is dedicated to leather. Um, me personally I like to do it on the cheap so a toothbrush is um, it's just the ticket. You're going to need a bucket of water. Um, the water is warm uh, and I've put some standard uh, detergent in it to uh, remove the dirt from the sponges when I wash them out. So insert your sponges into the water and then give them a good squeeze out so that the sponge is nearly dry. Same for the cloth. Give it a good clean first. And then almost wringing out dry. Okay, so I wanted to show you the condition of the leather um, to start with. It's not in bad condition, but there is ingrained dirt into the hide as you can see. There's also marks on the seat and it's just generally grubby from years and years and years of use. Around the seat base uh, there's also marks, scuffs, etc. And, and uh, it's also very, very, very dirty. Okay, so now we're going to actually start the process of cleaning the seat. And um, the first thing I did was to take the Ultra Leather Clean by Furniture Clinic turn it to on and then give the seat a fairly liberal spray but not too much so that it soaks through the seat and um, could potentially damage your heated seats so a good spray from about six inches up over the seat and then we would need to Leave that to soak for a few minutes before we start the process of the actual cleaning. So after a few minutes you take your damp sponge and in a circular motion you work it over the leather to bring the cleaner up into uh, a very slight foam type uh, finish. So I'm just working round and round in a circular motion and I can already see a lot of the dirt coming out of the leather. So we're working round in a circle and the dirt is already lifting from the leather with the damp sponge. So in circular motion we're working over the leather as much as I can with the sponge. Uh, 
and already I can see the dirt lifting from the seat. This is very good cleaner. I'm really impressed with the product. Already a marked improvement. And you can see on the sponge how much dirt is already on that sponge. That's why you need your bucket of water because you're going to need to clean the sponge out quite regularly otherwise you transfer the dirt back onto the seat. Working the, the cleaner into the leather, and there we can see how much dirt is uh, is coming off onto the sponge. 27 years worth of dirt, I think. So then we change the sponge for the dishcloth, which is also slightly damp, and then I take off as much of the dirt as I can in a long stride across the seat so as not to transfer it back into the leather wiping towards the front pushing quite hard as I do so And again you can see on here how much dirt has actually come off onto the cloth. So again we're washing the sponges, squeezing it out almost till it's dry. Okay, so now we're on the second stage of cleaning the seat base here. Um, I've already wiped over the seat uh, with the wet damp sponge and um, I've removed a lot of the dirt from the surface of the leather but there is a, still dirt ingrained into the creases and sometimes into the actual marks on the leather itself. So we need to give it another spray with the cleaning fluid from about six inches up, a good liberal coating and uh, this time I am going to take my good old Tesco's toothbrush and in a circular motion I'm going to gently work it over the surface of the leather in a circular motion and I working it into all the cracks, the nooks and crannies gently lifting the dirt from the seat as you do this the cleaner usually foams there's nothing to worry about with that, that's perfectly normal it's a bit like cleaning your teeth pay particular attention if there's any um, creases in the leather itself because you tend to get dirt ingrained into those areas so I'm not pushing uh, particularly hard, it's just a bit like cleaning your teeth, only you're doing it on leather. And I can see, I don't know if you can on the camera, but I can certainly see that the colour of the, the foam is going grey uh, with the dirt that's being lifted from the seat. This is quite a lengthy process and you may have to repeat it more than once in order to get it fully clean. So keep the circular motion going as it lifts the dirt from the leather. Again I'm paying particular attention to areas where there's creases or stitching. 
in order to lift the dirt from ingrained usage. I love working with leather. It's a very satisfying result. Okay, so once we've worked it over the whole of the leather with the toothbrush, we then take our damp microfiber dish cloth and using your fingers, with two fingers in the dish cloth, I uh, wipe away the excess of the cleaner, lifting the dirt from the leather as I do it. As you can see, uh, I presume you can see it on the camera, uh, the dirt is uh, transferred to the cloth. And already that's looking pretty good. But I think I can get that slightly better. So the last stage will be another squirt of the uh, cleaner. And then uh, taking a reasonably clean part of your cloth, put your fingers into it. So you've got two fingers. And again, work the cleaner into the leather in a circular motion using your cloth. As you do this, you get the final marks out, almost buffing the leather. Clean. So I don't know if you remember, this is the before, although it's um, been already cleaned once with the uh, damp sponge. And afterwards, this is uh, the clean section after th three goes at cleaning the leather and I'll definitely say it's a marked improvement it almost looks brand new very satisfying obviously there's no actual damage to my leather um, yours may well have scuff marks on it and it won't deal with that obviously you'd have to treat that using other products from furniture clinic but uh, I am absolutely amazed at the difference that this has made. Okay so um, I've been working on the seat for uh, about 10 minutes now and um, I'm now working on the middle section of the seat with uh, the ridges um, in the leather. Um, sometimes, I don't know if you can see this here, but there are creases in the leather and um, even though I've gone over it once with um, the sponge, the cloth and the toothbrush there are still parts of the seat that need to um, have additional work done on them and again this is done with the toothbrush and I'm just gently stretching the leather and working in a circular motion lightly with the toothbrush on the creases of the leather to ensure that the brush head can reach the hub to uh, get at places. You don't want to let the cleaner dry on the seat either, if you can help it. So after you've worked the toothbrush round to the very end, and you can see the leather is already cleaner. But when you get to the end, it's a good idea just to wipe that section that you've worked on using your cloth. I'm going to take my cloth the yellow one and I'm just gonna wipe the dirt away and I've just cleaned from that part of the seat and that's about as good as I think I can get it so now the leather in the creases is now clean um, 
and certainly this seat's looking a lot better than it was. Okay, so um, after a bit of time I have uh, worked on the back half of the seat and I'm nearing the end of that now um, and I'm just about to wipe off the excess of cleaner. I think I've got this about as good as it's going to get. So I'm taking my cloth again and just gently wiping down the back of the seat to remove the cleaner. I think you'll agree that uh, this is a uh, marked improvement on what we had before. I don't know if you remember, we had the seat bolster that looked very, very dirty. This is now looking spotless. And the stitching looks a lot cleaner as well. Okay, uh, now I've cleaned down all the leather using the leather cleaner. Uh, I've allowed it to dry in the air, uh, so the leather is nice and uh, nice and smooth and dry. Um, and now we're going to feed the leather, um, and in this case I'm using uh, Furniture Clinic's Leather Protection Clean. Um, this has a slight colourant in it uh, to match this uh, the colour of the leather. Um, and you need to be careful, because if you spill this on your seats, um, it will mark them, um, as I found to my detriment yesterday. Uh, so be very careful with this. Um, make sure that you uh, you apply it and then uh, apply it smoothly over the entire seat. Otherwise, you run the risk of having a mark on the seat. Um, but nonetheless, uh, it's a still a good product, and it seemed to work really well. Um, to uh, to put the colourant on, I'm using uh, just a uh, standard dishcloth, um, which um, is dry. Uh, there's no water on this one, and um, I'm going to liberally apply uh, the protection to the leather. Um, wait for it to dry, and then buff it off. Just going to make the uh, the cloth into a sort of pad, um, and then I'm going to apply some of the colour. Um, and you can see it's a sort of creamy colour and this is what I mean by the fact that uh, don't get it uh, on in bulk in a particular area otherwise it will mark your seats. We're going to rub this into the leather, circular motion again. I'll try and get out of the way so that you can see. Working it into all the nooks and crannies as much as you can. This will help to keep the leather soft and supple. Gives it a very smooth finish. And you want to do this twice. Once it's dry, do it again and then buff it off. Again, I don't know if you can see that, that's looking as though there is still dirt on there as well, so it's still cleaning the product, cleans the leather as well as conditions it. I apologise if I'm rushing a little bit, it looks like it's going to rain, which will put pay to my video. So we're working as fast as I can before the rain comes. Okay, we've uh, reached the uh, last stage of the process, uh, which is um, we've now applied uh, the protection and the leather feed, and now we're just going to buff that. Now it's dry after 10 minutes uh, with a clean cloth. Um, again, this is microfiber cloth, it just helps to pick up any dirt that may be uh, still resting on the surface. So this gives the leather a very slight shine, much like you would do with your shoes. It's not shiny shiny, it's just uh, satin finish. 
So these seats are far from perfect, but I think uh, the result uh, speaks for itself. They're far better than what they were. And in true car dealer fashion, they got a lovely patina. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, the finished product. The whole interior has been done now. I think it looks a lot better than it did. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, concentrate on doing the uh, door card and the door handle. And as you can see, um, the dirt on here is pretty bad. Okay, so here we're going to start on the door panel and uh, the door card. Um, this door handle is pretty dirty with uh, years of use, uh, people grabbing hold of it with their greasy fingers. So the leather has got uh, quite dirty. Um, so we're going to use the same technique. Uh, the only thing we need to be careful of is uh, obviously you're going to be using something that's quite wet uh, with uh, wood veneer. Uh, the wood veneer may end up soaking up the water and uh, that could cause uh, the veneer to lift. Also you've got some electrics here and uh, needless to say that uh, water and electrics don't mix so try and protect these as much as possible. And uh, you've got your speakers in the door. Um, again water is not going to do those a lot of good so try to avoid spraying or uh, effectively dampening down uh, any of the electrics and they will work. the motion very much. I don't know if you can see that already. The dirt is lifting off of the leather. I really don't know if you can see this on the video but uh, this is a really grubby door card and there's a lot of dirt coming off of this. 27 years worth of dirt by the looks of it. You can see again, quite a lot of dirt coming off already. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dishcloth and wipe away initially the first run of the dirt. And already this is looking a million times better than it was. I think it's important to say at this stage that you're not going to get rid of um, marks which are scuffs on the leather or where the leather is actually worn through um, the paint to the, uh, the hide underneath. And that certainly won't uh, change the look and feel of that. There are other products on Furniture Clinic that will do that for you. Um, and it's probably worth investing in those. Uh, I believe Furniture Clinic do a colourant which they'll match to the colour of the, uh, the leather that you have. Um, that's not uh, something which is um, repainting the leather, that's just colouring down uh, some of the, um, the, the nooks and crannies that you've got in the leather so that that improves the appearance of the leather. If of course uh, it is scuffed completely, as in some places across the top of here uh, there are marks showing where uh, it's gone through the paint onto the hide underneath. Um, in those cases you would definitely need to do a leather repair kit uh, which I will be doing uh, in a future video. And it's already made an amazing difference to this door card. 
just with the first run. A little bit of elbow grease on some of the harder to remove areas. And that's stage one. Already looking much better. So I mentioned earlier on about uh, where scuffs have taken the paint off the surface of the leather and you can see the underside of the hide. In those uh, scenarios even though um, the leather has been damaged it has been filled up with dirt and quite often looks quite nasty. Um, now I've cleaned that out it's improved it a little bit but uh, this is definitely going to require a leather repair um, in which you will fill the holes and the gaps and uh, then you will sand that out and recolor it down to match the uh, surrounding leather and then spray protection coat on top. Okay uh, so we're going to do stage two now um, which is a little bit more in depth. I'm going to use the toothbrush to uh, lift the dirt from some of the more ingrained parts particularly the stitching uh, the creases in the leather and uh, the joins where the leather um, has been wrapped around and then uh, various parts of the door panel uh, screwed together. So uh, again it's a very light spray protecting all of these areas, the wood etc, um, anything that's electric um, and, uh, and then we work it with the toothbrush. We'll now take the toothbrush and in a circular motion as much as I can I'm going to work the cleaner into the harder to reach areas. This particular one um, I want to uh, wipe off between uh, the work that I'm doing uh, so that I lift the dirt and it doesn't dry back on so using my uh, my dishcloth which is microfiber I'm removing the dirt final clean. A little bit of elbow grease if there's stuck marks sometimes gets them off. Okay, working around the leather. Okay so I'm just going to concentrate on the other areas of the, uh, of the door panel now with my toothbrush. Just going to put a little bit more on the brush itself to get that bit. So again, taking my uh, dishcloth, the microfiber one, and we're just wiping away the excess. As I say, a little bit of elbow grease doesn't go amiss on some of the the marks that you get. They sometimes come out unless they're scuffs. Working my way around the fittings. Okay, there we have it. A nice clean door card. We're going to uh, again apply the uh, protection cleaner to uh, the door card as well uh, as we've cleaned that earlier. So again a good liberal application in circular motion using my cloth. We work it into the grain of the leather. Which lifts any remaining dirt that uh, you may have missed. And feeds the leather and makes it soft and uh, supple. Hopefully, you can see this okay.
So we're also going to do the same thing with the door carb which has been treated with a lever feed and um, I'm just going to buff it now. And hopefully you can see that. And there it is now nice and soft, smooth as a baby's bum. And uh, a lot cleaner than it was. Really impressed.